Hello everyone, back to tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 8th of February. And uh, we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Accenture GFS and ECM Ensembles. Maybe run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And uh, that gets us towards the end of February. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that first video is a was our 6M UK weather forecast. So if you please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much everybody for uh, doing that. Right, we're going to start off centering temperature. We're seating is uh, currently sitting at uh, 4.5 now, 4.5, which is 0.7 of a degree below 61 to 99. Average that is provisional to be 28th of uh, January. That's going to carry on going up. I reckon about 4.8 is probably where that's going to land up. In the end, we should keep you posted. These are the 500 millibar high tonic flow charts at Penn State University for the next week to 10 days. We've got the ECM WF on the top and the GFS is on the bottom. So 500 millibars, 80 miles feet. There's an area in the atmosphere. High pressure and low pressure are being moved around by the jet stream running above. Yellow, orange, and red, extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure, blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. This is the uh, 500 millibar heights only for, for the uh, 7 to 10 day time frame with above average heights across much of southern southwestern Europe. And then we've got below average heights across northern and northeastern parts of Europe. And that brings the wind in from a westerly direction. So looking pretty westerly there. In the 7 to 10 day time frame. Um, not much sign of a cold snap there. I have to say. By the end of the first week of February. Not much sign of it with the GFS either. Um, now you'll know. We have been thinking that we might get a cold snap. Through the uh, last stages of the first week of February. Into the second week of February. At the moment. Not much sign of that in the 7 to 10 day time frame. As long as these heights remain high here. Through uh, central southern parts of Europe. Then we're going to struggle to get cold air. Uh, down into southern areas. Obviously, this chop of low pressure will be bringing cold air into northern Europe, but we're struggling to get that cold air uh, down into, uh, the, into the UK. They're going to lower these heights down to the south. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at London today, the red line. Is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London? We're starting off above average with both upper air temperatures at the moment. We're generally going to stay above average as we go through the first week of February as well. We have still got a cooling trend that's showing up there into the second week of February, albeit there's a lot of scatter, a lot of up and down going on. So the GFS 6 there does turn quite cold, uh, just bare around 6 to the 8th of February. It does have a bit of a cold to that. Um, and we have more ensemble members around here that are looking uh, colder as well. But we can't discount these milder ensemble members that we have up here either. Precipitation wise, going to be a lot of dry weather over the uh, next week or so. Looks like it turns more unsettled though as we go into the second week of February. Snow row looks like that for London, so nothing doing snow wise over the next week, 10 days. Possibly some uh, snow into the second week of February, a few snow spikes there. Um, but that's a long way off, it's in the unreliable time frame and therefore shouldn't be taken overly seriously. Temperature anomaly is going to be 29th of January to 6th of February, coming out above average, not just for the UK but through most parts of Europe as well. And precipitation anomaly is going to be 29th of January to 6th of February, drier than average in the south, but a little bit more unsettled further north and west. The latest wind flow map from EarthNoSchool.net shows that uh, we've got a little area of low pressure zipping through country at the moment. It's uh, developed on a waving uh, weather front ahead of it, most the south of it. Very mild air pushing up from the south, but to the north of it, quite cold air has uh, come in from the far north of the Atlantic. Okay, so let's start going through chart data. Every South Latest UK met Europe run. It's looking big tight on Thursday. High pressure around France, Spain, Portugal. Low pressure around Greenland, Iceland. And we bring in those westerly winds. So we keep wind in from west, south, west through to weekend as well. So very mild conditions continuing into the opening days of February. Later on, towards the end of the 
uh, UK mate, your run gets us to meet like Monday. We are trying to draw some colder air in from the north, and battle lines are drawn a little bit there. So we've got a weather front that's through the centre of the country, still mild to the south of it, but taking quite a lot colder to the north of that uh, weather front. You can see it on the upper air temperatures, but cold air is starting to dig in to the northern half of the country. So as that low zips through, if we go another 24 hours, as that low zip through in that direction. It's possible that the UK Met will pull down something colder from uh, the north. Although heights remain relatively high through France, Spain, Portugal. As long as that is the case, you are going to struggle to pull those cold northerly winds southwards. Icon, again, is uh, looking like this. So, all much of a much history. The last stage of week, mild, very mild, with those west to south west winds. And those west south westerlies carry on through to the weekend as well. We get to the end of the icon run with another low pressure pushing through uh, then. And, you know, just stay mild up to Monday 5th of February there. That's as far as we go with the icon run. Maybe it will turn cold after that. Maybe, maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't, you know. But up to the end of the icon run, looking generally mild. This is how the KMA is looking again. We see those west-southwest winds at the end of the week and may carry on into the uh, weekend as well. But it turns more generally unsettled as we go through around day 10. And a bit colder as well with winds turning in to the uh, northwest. So looking quite cold and unsettled there for the second week of February, possibly with some snow possibilities. But it's certainly not a, a, not a, not a locked in cold spell because there is no sort of northern blocking supporting it. So it's just low pressure going on a more southerly track with a jet stream lining up northwest to southeast. Nevertheless, the KMA does turn quite cold uh, between around days 7 and 10. This is how the GFS Midnight Run is looking. So once more, we see those southwest winds at the end of week and they carry on into the uh, weekend as well. Through to, the, through to the beginning of uh, next week. Colder air starts trying to dig in uh, from the north, but uh, not for long. Soon pushed back by these areas of low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic at around day 10. Those lows then clear away to the east. The winds start turning into a northwesterly to northerly direction in extended range. So this is for the 11th of February. Long, long way out now. But we do have a cold snap going on then with winds turning in to uh, the north. And minus by cells, minus by cells, ice bum pushes southwards. Then low pressure start coming back in from off the Atlantic. Could be a bit of snow with that, but eventually milder southwesters begin tucking back in by Valentine's Day, 14th of February, as far as we get with the GFS today. We still have a GFS 6 days looking, very latest, so a more much of a match is at the end of week with those mild to very mild southwesters. They carry on into the weekend as well. Beginning of next week, start to draw some colder air into uh, the north with this uh, ridge of high pressure out to the west of the country. We see actually really cold air digging into Scotland by 10 cells iceberg there by the 6th of February. Um, the very quick the high pressure is collapsing southwards by around days 9 and 10 with these milder west to south westerly winds starting to come back in uh, once again. And then beyond day 10, we're well, just an uh, unsettled, increasingly unsettled look to the weather, somewhat colder as well, but jet stream is on a southerly track, bringing these areas of low pressure on a southerly track too. So it may be colder for a little bit of winchiness, especially in northern regions. But the main thing I think with GFS 6 there is, is that it's very unsettled there through the second week of February. And not definitively cold. If you enjoyed the video, please you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. And uh, yes, please give us a sub. So we only need to put on around, I think it's around 45 subscribers now. That's all we need to put on to get ourselves to 17.9k. So if you could give us a sub and tell your friends and family to subscribe, that would be incredible. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. GM. Again, with high pressure south, low pressure north on Thursday, drawing in those mild or very mild southwesties. They carry on into Friday and through the weekend as well. Into 
into the beginning of next weekend. High pressure centre to the south, low pressures away to the northwest, all looking mild, very mild with that ridge of high pressure. And it all carries on up to day 10, so not even a sniff of a cold snap there with the, uh, with, uh, with, with GM today. And then the East um, rounds it all off, looking like this. Again, we have those uh, southwesterly winds at the end of the week. They carry on into the weekend as well, through to the beginning of next week. A little bit poised, so cold around, trying to dig in uh, from the north. But at the same time, we have got a weather front sort of through here, in plenty of the wet weather in Whitburn, the upper air temperature show, but battle lines are drawn on the northern edge of that uh, wet weather. There might even be a little bit of snow, but be particularly for northern England. Of course, the battle lines could be further north or south of that um, position and scenario. Battle lines still drawn for day nine, Wednesday, seventh of February, and then we start getting another push of southwesters by day ten. 8th of February, so that's even milder air coming back in from off the Atlantic. But for a couple of days, we do try to get some colder weather going, and that's particularly so further north. This is a precipitation forecast based on that. Uh, each year run from Tometio.com, so plenty of rain across Wales and northern England today, a bit of a deluge. Um, that gets out of the way, and we go into those southwesterly winds as we run through the second half this week. That brings most of the rain into the north with very little getting through to the south and the southeast. More wet weather punching through over the weekend into the beginning of next week. Some of that turning to a little bit wintry on the northern edge through parts of the, the Midlands, for example. And that's a set up by day 10, so wet in the south and out to the northwest, otherwise dry. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10. Gets us to the 8th of February from the Icelandic Met Office. 31 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure over France, and that brings up mild air from the southwest. We've got 20, including the Control will be operation run with low pressure to our east and northeast, and that brings something a little bit cooler or colder in uh, from the northwest potentially. But it's a minority option too. It's time, these are the options that we've got. It will get us to the 13th of February. So, 14 members of the ECM ensembles with uh, low pressure right over top of the coach. That's looking very unsettled. 11 with low pressure. To our east, high pressure in the Atlantic, and that brings the wind in from a northwesterly direction. We've got 10 again with low pressure to our east. Down comes these cold north to northeasterly winds. We've got 9 with high pressure into France, low pressure around Iceland. Winds are coming in westerly direction, and we've got 7 with low pressure to the north, and again, winds coming in from the west. So, a range of options. Uh, we might see something colder as we go through the second week of February, but it is by no means definitive that we will there. It is by no means definitive. So, more runs needed. CFSB2 finally, and then we're done. Meter 5, but you're about high tonight's breaking down to week peers. The first week period takes the 29th of January to the 4th of February. The next week has low pressure to the north, high pressure is to the south, and winds will be coming in from a westerly direction. Mild and relatively dry in the weekend. Week 2 looks more unsettled. It's the 5th to the 11th of February. Low pressure in over Scandinavia. High pressure pulling out into the Atlantic, so that's cooler. Um, not necessarily that cold, but it is cooler and more unsettled as well. Week three <laughs> could be cold. This is going to be, let's change the colour as well. So this is going to be the 12th to the 18th of February with a mid-Atlantic ridge going up towards Greenland. Chop of low pressure through South Europe. And that should get wind into a north north east So that could be cold through the middle part of February. Cold and wintry there, maybe. And then week four also could be quite cold. It's the 19th, 25th of February. High pressure then in between Scotland and Iceland. And around that, we should be bringing in the wind from an easy direction. So this remains a slow burner. Slow, so slow transition to something more blind and colder, but we might eventually get there. So by the middle and into the second half of February, we might be looking at something quite a lot colder by then. But for the time being, for the next week, 10 days, nothing definitively cold showing up, and certainly very mild in, in the next week. Um, so we're waiting to see. More runs near, as I said. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please give you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to check for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know, let us know, sorry, <coughs> excuse me, what you think about this and all of our videos. 
And don't forget to tell your friends about Gal as well. So thank you so much everybody for doing that. As I say, we only need to put on around 45 subscribers to get ourselves to um, 17.9k. Oh, uh, if you could give us a sub, that'd be incredible. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Okay, I'll just say what's coming up tomorrow. We're going to have the uh, 6M UK weather forecast. The extended European outlook is back as well tomorrow, looking at the weather for the next 30 slash 46 days. And if all of that was enough, there will be another 10 to 14 day or two. So please keep checking back to the channel for all of our videos and content. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. And for this video, though, that's all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Monday, and bye for now.